Good morning guys, we have made it to Fort Peck, Montana. What a beautiful day, we got this gorgeous house with this nice sweet deck that goes right into the dreads. It is awesome, we're here, we're gonna chase some Lakers. We've got a cabin here in Nashua, it is awesome. Let's go inside and take a quick look and see what we get to relax in while we fish one of the craziest lakes. Let's get right to it. As we walk in, we are welcomed by a very spacious living room with a sweet couch right behind us there, a beautiful kitchen, and a bar right there to have some drinks, have a good time. What a beautiful place, very spacious. The bedroom back here, the master bed. So you can bring some, you know, a couple things out, you know, of the room and uh, yeah, beautiful home, some history about the area and uh, bunk beds behind me, the bathroom. Really neat little place, you guys. About 129 a night. Having said that, it's fishing time. It's go time. Go, go, go time. We're gonna do many miles on the lake to get some spots to get on some fish. So I hope you join me for this adventure as we go out there and grind and find a bite. See you guys in the water. What's going on guys? Four Peck, Montana. Ice fishing, NECA for lake trout. We probably rode out, I don't know, for about 20 to 25 miles just to get to the spot. Uh, fish at open water. If you go back to my Four Peck episodes from the boat, we caught a lot of fish. And we caught it in the certain area here because there is a lot of structure. I'll go into that in just a bit, but uh, let's get right to it and let's get some fishing done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the gear real quick so you guys know what I use and what I get them on and then we'll go on from there, all right? So stay tuned and let's enjoy this show. Yeah, baby, Montana. Well, for the gear, I like to go ahead and go with uh, Jason Mitchell Mac Rods. This is a 45 heavy rod, 45 inches spinning, as well as my other one. And on one, I have a six inch tube by Carl's Bates. This is the sucker pattern, works really, really well. I don't care what body of water you're on. And this is a rattle bait by Mazu. Um, and uh, basically, I think the rattle bait is about an ounce. It's pretty heavy, gets down there. But basically, these are my setups. I have caught fish on the rattle bait and a tube has never failed me. Uh, we're in about 60 feet of water. Um, so let's go ahead and throw a tube down. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to find humps, saddles, which are spots between humps and ledges, and points underwater that are flat and kind of go into a drop off. Lake trout are known to be a structure fish and uh, you're going to find them on humps and whatnot. And that's the beauty of, uh, of fishing for them is it's always a challenge and you never know what is going to, to, <clears throat> to require to get into them. We've been able to fish this lake a few days to kind of figure out the whole uh, <clears throat> bite and everything and, and where they're hanging out. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a challenge, okay? Uh, that's part of the experience. You've got to go ahead and uh, you know snowmobile around until you get, uh, <clears throat> until you get uh, a pattern. So I hit the bottom. What I'm gonna do is just uh, bounce it a little bit off the bottom. What you're trying to do is you're cause causing the dirt to kick up or sediment of any sort. And if the fish are anywhere within the vicinity, they're going to hone in on that uh, dirt that you're kicking up. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna wanna come and check it out. And then it's up to you to you know, do some magic to get into the fish. So uh, I'm in about uh, 60 feet of water and each side of the hump is about 75 to 80 feet of water. So I've got a hump that's about 10, 15 
feet off the bottom and that's really the key that's what we've been looking for out here in this perfect body of water so much structure it's easier to fish than your other waters um, but uh, still a challenge you have to find the humps and you have to find the fish and then the feeding fish and then you have to make them want to eat whatever you have so there's a there's a decent amount of stuff to it so we're gonna keep it going we're gonna try to find where these fish are we're gonna work different humps and uh, Dan is already out there riding a snow machine so uh, just wanted to kind of do this intro, take a moment and show you what we got, what our cadence is, what we're using. And uh, I'll see you guys on the chesty. Alright, we got another hump. We're going to try 39 foot. Ooh, kind of a shallow hump, but let's see how thick the size is. Alright. I can't believe we're actually fishing before seven. Oh, there we go. There's a fish on you, bud. Oh. Oh, damn it. You got hit. Fuck. It's going back. Get him. I broke off. You did? Hey guys, that broke off. Good action so far. I'll get the transducer, you Is there a fish on me or am I tripping? You might be fish on me. Here. I can't tell. Dude, these humps have been on fire. This, I caught two or three fish already. Yon? Got a fish on. Yes, 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 I do. On! <laughs> oh, it was chasing me the whole time. Oh, he's going on around. All right. Oh, he's off. Oh, he came on around. I did everything I could. I kept pressure the whole time. Uh, come back down. Come back down. Come on. Right That's just my luck, dude. Yep. Another hump? Oh, 100%. <laughs> I'm not. Big in belly. Pop it. Come on. It's small. It's small. It's small. It's small. Just pound that box. <laughs> halfway, halfway, halfway. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there he goes. Line tight, line tight. Yeah. Ah. There he goes. Yes. Yes, I am. I don't know if I have him on still. I got him, 
Grab him. Yeah! 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 That is a fat one. Yeah, he's right on 30. 30. Perfect, Dan. I'm recording already. There you go. Nice work, AJ. There you go, cookie cutter. That's the cookie cutter. Can you slow You see any, Dan? <laughs> I got one on me, but I'm gonna get your transducer out. You're good. You'll catch it. Huh? Need to help? You let me know. I mean, I immediately marked three. Right, sir. There we go. Picture. Awesome. Were you seeing multiples too? No, just yeah. There was like three on me. I just can't catch one. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's uh you know, after that initial low light catches um it just tends to slow down and i don't know if it is the daylight that these fish particularly this week aren't biting on or being aggressive but uh moving around is key if you want to well one not be bored two be cold and three fine fish <clears throat> it's rough but you dredge to it all day man and it rewards you at the afternoon that's just how she goes boys that's how she goes What a day, I, uh, it started off really good after we caught a couple of those fish and doubled up. We marked a ton and I didn't catch any more. Dan, however, caught a couple and Dan, uh, our buddy other Dan, also caught one. Um, it, the wind was so bad that it actually swiped off a lot of snow on the lake and caused a lot of uh, slick spots and I was snowmobiling not paying attention this is a, a lesson I want to teach you guys also you don't make the same mistake is as I was riding I had some spots you know where I slowed down after being on snow and I had ice and uh, let's just say I rolled a snowmobile um, it launched me and I uh, rolled twice and luckily the snowmobile did not roll over me so uh, yeah anyways just make sure you are careful it is the uh prime time coming up it's that two to four bite that i think we can get them on uh we've been mostly catching them on humps although dan did just land one on a point so let's uh continue and see what happens hopefully we catch some more and my uh roll over with a snowmobile was worth it i guess it's never worth it anyways that's the update let's see if we can finish strong guys we have been riding around drilling on top of humps it's uh been hard to locate these fish I'm not gonna lie fishing as many humps as you possibly can until you come across feeding fish hopefully uh, our chef our chef is making some serious things over here what are you cooking Dan? I think we're gonna have some brats little uh, peppers and onions Maybe warm up a little bit and uh, come up with a new game plan since what we're doing is not really working out too well. Oh, guys, I wish you had smell of vision What? Oh, we got some. Oh, we're, we're, we're living large. <laughs> PBNR, onion, green pepper. About to drop some brats in. Ooh. It's going to be good. 
Yeah, we're gonna eat. We'll be back. There it is. There's a fish on the bottom. I am. He's going to you, Dan. You see him? No, not yet. But I'm... Oh, you should have seen how he turned up. That was a big fish, bro. You know that, right? Here we go. All right. We're in a new area. There's three. Oh, I see him. No, I don't. I don't know. There's one shooting up at me. Both of them are shooting. All three are shooting at me. Are you sure it's not me? No, dude. I wish they would eat it as it goes down. Oh, wow. You're right. Look at them all. Oh, I see him. Dude, we got a I got him. Oh. I lost him. What a massive. The fuck away. No. Yeah, they all took no, it's on me. Fucking... It's on me. There's so many of them. They're, they're all big too. All of them. Are they they're... Yeah, they're on me. Heavy. Good. Get it. I'm trying. I can't see anymore. All right. We drilled in about 61 feet of water, according to Dan over there. So, oh, uh, Dan, a little. Smack talking, friendly little smack talking. You fish on? Oh my god, he's already got one on. Good size. First four pack fish right away. Right away. I'm not surprised. He does this for a living. Everywhere he goes, they just come up to it. Is that a heavy rod? Like a 30. Oh, here. I'm not gonna lip him too hard. Just enough. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yes. Look how chubby that fish is. How, how many be? Hmm. Not just AJ can catch this. Oh yes. <laughs> Oh, these fish are biting off camera. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's small either. <laughs> you would have had him up by now. Oh, I see him. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad fish, then. Not a bad fish. Not the longest, but it's chubby. There you go. Burp it up, boy. Burp it up. That's in the ass. No. Okay. He didn't. He choked it down his. There you go, my friend. Not a bad fish. I know. These things are just thick as can be. Bait fish or a stranded rainbow trout. I think he was screaming, who? Fish on! All right, I'm coming. I hope he fights it for a while. Dan is said fish on, guys. I don't know if you heard that. Race over there if I can. Idea still? All right, I gotcha. I can't believe I raced. Big? 
What do you have, a little plus crank or tube? tube Thank God. Yeah, I'll grab him. Yeah. Oh, I see him. But that's he. He's going on runs like that. And never. Four or four, so yeah. Jesus Christ! Got him. Yeah, All right. Oh, that is a nice that's hog. Awesome. Big old belly full of Cisco. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a great. Before he bumps a lot, you want to get two. Yeah. How many? 31 and a half. 31 and a half. Uh, we got a little time, but that's not much. <laughs> Five, so this is 55? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, two of them. Two. They dashed at me. Oh, come back. Hate taking the glove off, but I have no choice. How many times does the glove cost you a bite? More times than I can count. Are you down there? Oh, no, he's on me. I can't believe that fish was just, there it is. All right, all right, I'll pull this out. Or AJ. Oh, no! He came off. I didn't do anything. I still had tension. I had tension Oh, he's coming. Time. He's coming. Now there's one swimming like way up high. He is, he's on me. Probably the one I brought up. Oh. That is the one I brought up. Get him. Oh, got, got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Oh, Will you pull that? He's already here. I might get tangled. Oh. Yes. Not yeah. the biggest, but that's all right. Oh, it's a Laker, buddy. Dude, thank you. Yeah. That's the same one I bet. Because he was high in the water column. Oh, that's man. That's the same one I had on. Yeah. Yep. Good job, buddy. Oh, Good thanks, job, man. man. What did you cut this up on? I fucking tore meat. On this, on, on this, on this, on this sharp metal. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's on. Fuck you. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Give it that drag. Make sure that bitch is adjusted, okay? Come on. Come on. Oh, nice, I saw you. All right, he ain't no baby. You got. Yeah, he's shaking his head, dude. I'm afraid he's gonna come up. Oh, I see him. He ain't no baby, dude. I got PSD, PT, yes. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh yeah, let's. I'll get do my best. In, I'll do my best, buddy. It's a nice fish. Just let him run if he wants to, though, because I can see him. We got him nicely. Hang on. Oh hang on. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, let he just yeah lift. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, Sorry, I almost lost it. Oh, oh yeah. I was hooked, bud. Barely in the corner. Look at that. He, oh, my God. I could have lost that. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. barely <laughs> Look at the Dude. Hey, man. Well, that wasn't a hump. We're fishing these some guys. We just back to back on two nice Lakers. So that makes it a nice day. Dan already got one as well. We're all on the board. All of my fish have come on the chase, guys. It's quite freaking unique. I'm gonna get on that other side. Huh? Oh, he's on you. Got him. Dad! Dad! Big? No, I don't. I don't. 
Oh, he's right here though. Are you ready? Yep. If he goes on a run. Yeah! Come on! I see him. Oh, he wants to run, doesn't he? Can I just drag? Yeah. He might be a decent size, buddy. Yeah. He's, he's not small. Is the drag okay? Oh, he's right here. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trying. Yeah, baby. It's, I, I swear it is. That's what he keeps telling me. Let me show you what we're doing here when it comes to finding the, the holes and the humps we want. So basically, I go to home, charts, navigation chart, and what you'll see is throughout this whole thing, we've got different humps. Like there's a 61 foot hump, and there's another hump next to it. So we want to fish on top of these humps. So as you ride around, look at these maps, you see hump, 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 hump. That's all we're jumping over to and there's always fish there. Keep that in mind. And when I do it, I like one that's like this 58, is I'll click on it, navigate to, go to, and then it'll take me straight, straight there, so. Oh yeah. On, on, on. I got it. I will get it. Out nicely. How'd you coax that one? <laughs> Same way as always, right? Yes, sir. Button. Same size? Yeah, probably. Cookie cutter 28, 29. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good cookie cutter. Might be a little bigger. Oh, yeah. A little more head earlier. <laughs> I know, poor. I wanted to at least catch one, man. Oh yeah, Dad has got something bigger, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got him at about 62. Oh, he got stuck on ice? Yeah, it's a leader. Ouch. So, we've got it almost close to us. I love the sensitivity of the braid, but like this. Oh! Oh, did he just realize he's hooked again? He did. Yeah, my fish got to the hole, guys, and ran. Here we go. We got near the hole again, but history shows they run when they see us. Another run. Come on, buddy. Come on, fish. I know you're tired and we have more fish to catch, huh? <laughs> like it cares. I do. I do. I do. We got a good fish. Oh, he's oh he's a good fish. But he's going to have a hard time coming through. Oh, I see him. That's a nice one, Brad. Slowly lift. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the colors on this one, buddy. There you go. Look at that. The mouth. Oh, right at 31. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. It's that time of the day. It's about 5.45, just about, and sunset is in about five minutes. We have a 22 mile haul back to the truck. Handful of fish caught today, low light mostly. Anything after 9 a.m all the way up until four an hour ago was uh, was really hard to mark and get to bite. Um, so it's Lola bite, definitely five inch tubes in silverish kind of greenish colors. So hopefully that helps you guys a little. So we're gonna finish the day. Great action, fun times. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, take it easy.